It's very uh, painstaking. It's very detailed. Every color that you lay down is a different screen, and every screen has to be designed and made with uh, what you basically have is a stencil. And you have a screen, like a frame with a screen in it, and the stencil might be like paper that covers a certain area of it. And then the part that isn't covered is like the hole with just a screen. Then you lay the, the, the screen down on a piece of paper and you squeegee ink through the hole. So when you pull out the piece of paper, you have one color based on the shape that was left in the stencil. And you do that again and again and again and again. And my first print there was 13 colors. That's 13 pulls and it takes a day to pull it. And you it has to dry. Well, not only that, but literally you're physically pulling it and taking out a paper and putting in a paper and physically pull. I mean, it's a lot of work. And stencils are either hand cut or they're photo stencils or they're hand drawn. It's very, very arduous and complex. I don't think there's any place in Los Angeles that does silk screen prints at the, same, at the level that Self Help Graphics has been doing it for quite some time now, I'd say a good 20 years. The Atelier, which started in Self Help Graphics, I actually worked as the printer for the Atelier in 2111 Brooklyn and worked with John Valadez at that point as a silk screen printer. But the, 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 the supplies weren't, it wasn't really set up like it is today. It was more guerrilla, guerrilla silk screen. And now it's really, it's really an art form. And Jose at Self Help Graphics is a wonderful printer and a wonderful human being and very, very good to work with. And I enjoyed both of my, well, all four of my experiences at Self Help Graphics and using the prints.